What's up, Taser fans and Taser noobs? We are back with another upgrade to the Z Automotive Taser firmware. This time we're upgrading to ZPU version 1.4.9 and Taser firmware 2.2.8. I'll give you a list of the new features at the end of this video. I would like to recommend if you're using a laptop, be sure you have it wired to power to prevent shutting down during the upgrade process. If you need help with connecting your Taser to the PC and the driver install, please head over to my video on the driver and hardware install that will pop up right now in the card section in the upper right. Just like the last one, we need to upgrade the Z Automotive Programming Utility or ZPU as well. This can be easily downloaded from zautotech.com. Navigate to the Taser page and in the left column you will find the latest ZPU. Download the ZPU and when you're done with the download, keep this browser window open because you're going to need to go back to it in a few seconds to grab the firmware. When you run the file, you'll be reminded to uninstall the old version before installing the new one. Close that window, head over to the computer's control panel, Programs and Features, and then uninstall the uh, old ZPU. Once uninstalled, find the downloaded file and run. Now that the install is complete, launch the upgraded ZPU and just confirm you have the latest version by clicking on the question mark in the upper right. Now click on the program button to check your firmware version. Simply press the get version button and as you can see we need to upgrade. Keep this window open while you head back to zautotech.com to download the latest firmware. You can find that also in the left column on the taser page. Once downloaded, head back to the ZPU, click Select Firmware, and choose the file you just downloaded. Then press the Upgrade button. I would just sit back and watch, as you don't really want to interrupt this process. That's it, we're done. And here are some of the new features that were added. We've got the ability to control your engine fans while the car is in the run position with the engine off. This is very useful for cooling off your engine at the drag strip. I actually got a video on this coming up in the next few days. Also added was a TPMS disable so you can turn off your tire pressure sensors if you're running your drag tires or your winter tires without sensors. Also have the ability to set daytime running light type for USA, Canada or none and choose which lights to use. And another cool feature, he also added the button press to exit the menu also added a fix to fix the light show loops and some code cleanup. For more info on this, head back to zeototech.com's Taser page and check out the installation and operation manual for the latest firmware. If this video helped you out in any way, don't forget to gently press that like button. If you're stopping by for the first time, don't forget to subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching.